Hi guys, welcome! And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable, inexpensive makeup from Walmart drugstore, various websites, I'll test it in my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm doing a review of another pretty big peach cosmetics haul I did. So I got all of these palettes, eyelashes, sponge, and we're going to be reviewing all of that and trying everything. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and also go live every Monday. So like, comment and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are down in the description box. So is my Patreon group as well. So let's get right into this video. So clearly I'm on BH Cosmetics Rain. Since I got a taste of it, I'm like buying, buy, buy, and it's so cheap and the quality is so crazy good. I'm like, I'm gagging right now, it's crazy. So I bought a bunch of palettes this time, the ones I heard about. Uh, my friend Missa likes them and Daniela they recommended them. So I got a bunch of stuff. So first of all, the, the ones on my eyes is Trendy in Tokyo. And this looks like this. It's sort of a, a rainbow palette, but it's not your regular rainbow palette because the quality is just like incredible. <laughs> You'll see. That's what I'm wearing my eyes, clearly. And this was 1275. That's for my previous haul, actually. And this haul, I added avocado toast. And this was 1350. I think there was some kind of discount code and the sale, you know, they always some kind of discount and sale. So this looks like this. This reminds me of Teresa. I think she did a review on her channel. Pretty sure she did. And of course I had to get this. And that's gonna be in my next video. So I'm gonna scoot over so you can see the swatches over here. So this is gonna be called Elena Glam Harris Swatches. So I caught my husband yesterday. <laughs> I caught him literally because he didn't want to do it. So John doesn't like to be on TV. Like he says, I don't want to be on TV. So to get him to do a video with me, it's like pain in the, you know, where, you know, in where the sun don't shine. <laughs> but I had soft tanner on. I just put it on and I had the color guard and everything. I couldn't wait, wash my hands. I couldn't swatch myself. So I'm like, Honey, come here. I'm gonna swatch your hairy arms. So I swatched his hairy arms right here on my makeup desk and I took videos. So when you see like uh, squiggly hairs, that's not me, excuse me. I'm not that pale. <laughs> he never self tanned And he's uh, half Irish and Welsh descent, so he's pale. So, and the swatches come out incredible. So the first uh, slide, you're gonna see the trend in Tokyo. I took a whole arm to show that, the whole of his arm from here to here. <laughs> and here, the next slide, you're going to see uh, the toasty, to avocado toast. Why can I not pronounce it? I think because I have another green palette, it's called Tasty Avocado from My Heart Revolution. And that one is pretty too, but it's the same thing. It's an avocado thing. Anyway, avocado toast, excuse me, BH Cosmetics. So you'll see that the swatches look incredible. It comes out, I did not prime his arm at all. I might have swiped a couple of times each, but they come out incredible, even on the first, on the first mirror. Every shirt mirror is great. So next one I'm gonna show you, uh, the slide is, the one I did use today is Bellini Palette Blush. It is freaking cute, it's beautiful. It's super pigmented. And this was uh, for eight fifty actually. That's pretty cheap. Or was it not? Let me see. Uh, that's ten eighty. Excuse me. That was ten eighty. So the swatches come out nice. As you can see, another hairy swatch. I'm gonna try to start doing this if I can catch him every time. And then it's gonna be called Elena Glam's hairy swatches. Teresa does it in her face. I'm gonna do it in my husband's arms. That's gonna be a hood. Next time I'll do it on his legs and that's gonna be a real hairy situation. 
shade. <laughs> anyway, this one is Belgian waffle, and everybody loves that palette. Misa like loves it all the time, and I, I've been politely to buy this for a while, and I've finally got my hands on it. And this was 1080 as well. It looks like this. And here are the Harry's watches of Belgian waffle. <laughs> so this I used today as well. And I used a little bit of a avocado toast, like just for the highlight shade, you'll see. And the last one I haven't used yet is Glowing in Grease. And this is a blush and highlighter palette. This might be a little too dark for me, but some of the shades are real light, so it'll work, believe me. So this is what it looks like. And you'll see the hair is watches right there. It can join every single hair. And this one was, I think the, this one was cheapest, right? Yeah. This one is 850. I don't know why discriminating again this one, but that was 850. So that was for the palettes. So you see, I bought quite a bit. So I got two pair of eyelashes because I wanted to dry everything now from Beach Cosmetics. So that's false eyelashes. You know, it's always hard to tell how eyelashes are going to look because on a computer or whatever you shop on the phone, uh, you can't really see how big they are. So this looked like they were the biggest and I'm an extra person, excuse me. I need everything big and snatched. So <laughs> this is... 304 and this is 306. 306 I'm wearing now and you'll see I was applying them. They'll come with the glue and I'll tell you right away, throw away the glue and use something else. But the lashes have the thinnest band, really nice, real natural. They look nice. I could actually wear this on a daily basis. They would look natural. I like them. And the last thing I'm testing is a sponge. You're going to see the clean sponge in the middle of this video. <laughs> I already used it, of course, and that's Studio Pro Beauty Sponge. And I pretty much just bought it because of the color. I like purple, and that's a dirty sponge right there. I haven't sent my husband to the bathroom to wash them yet. Um, I'm about to, to say, Jahan, can you wash my brushes? He's sitting right there. Anyway, <laughs> this was $2.10. I don't know why they put 10 cents there. I always giggle over the cents. <laughs> and eyelashes came up to a total of $3.38. That's it. <laughs> so yeah, that was very inexpensive. So the whole haul was delivered pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, from Los Angeles, I think they're based here in California. So delivery's easy and fast. So. You saw the swatches, you saw the items, so let's get to my bare face with one eyeball done because that's how we roll on this channel. We got one eyeball done in the beginning. <laughs> and you'll see all the tea and all the shades. Hunting. So we're starting with this beautiful trendy in Tokyo palette. And it's kind of a rainbow-ish palette, but I haven't tried it yet and it's really, really pigmented. I heard it's real nice. So, um, I ended up with using a lot of colors, I would say, and it's mostly matte look, so we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna go with Kyoto first, the purple, on a BH, uh, actually, that's Spectrum, A12 brush. I have BH brushes, but um, they're kind of large, so I need some smaller, so I'll use my Spectrum brushes, and that is it. So, I'm just gonna place purple all above the crease. That's where my new crease is gonna be. Not quite going into a low lash line. I was gonna put purple everywhere, but I did wanna use the shimmery blue color. So you'll see. Very nice, very pigmented, as always. Uh, just like my other BH Cosmetics palettes. Palettes, I can't believe I'm accumulating them. I'm accumulating a lot of them quite a bit. So I'm blending out the edges a little bit. Now I'm using a Morphe brush of similar size without any numbers in it. It's kind of a medium pencil brush on emoji. And this is the color I was gagging over. That's why I was like, oh, this is my pink. This is my type of pink. Bright, bright fuchsia pink. Look at this color. Ah, oh, 
It blends with perfect, perfectly, with perfect, with purple, perfectly. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush, Spectrum B11, and we're going for the lightest pink here. It's called Blossom. I'm going to blend out the fuchsia pink. This is more of a peachy pink, really, really nice too. So I'm just staying within my eye area, up to the eyebrow, but not too far. Just for once, I'm restraining myself against going to my temple. I like drama, but sometimes I just need to be a little more moderate. <laughs> Most people, this is there's nothing normal about this eyeshadow look. But you guys gotta remember, this is mostly for fun and for art. Doesn't mean that you should be wearing this kind of look. Or if you're not comfortable going out with this, why not though? Like, let me know in comments, do you guys feel comfortable going out and looks like this? There was a conversation in my makeup group. Somebody posted, uh, like asking, do you feel comfortable uh, leaving the house with bright eyeshadow like this? I mean, I have no problems. I've been using this kind of looks for years and I have no issues. People only give me compliments or asking me, who did your makeup? And I'm like, well, I did my makeup. <laughs> so, you know, to each their own. If you're more comfortable with neutral looks, why not? But I like my bright looks and I don't care what people think. This is my favorite thing to do is uh, paint my balls pretty much. I'm just going between all colors now. Make sure the pink stands out and the purple is blended into it nicely. Well, since we're doing BH Cosmetics haul and I spoke about two palettes, although I'm gonna use this palette for a separate look, I just needed to dip into this for the brow bone highlight because this color is ridiculous. It's called Avocado. Look at this. Oh my God, this is the most intense highlight color. Makes me want to put it on my cheeks too. Although I'm testing this palette too. The highlight palette, so I'll use that. But this color, look at that, it's just ridiculous. Oh my God. And we're going to blend this back to the lightest pink. Actually, I might add pink salt from avocado palette. Okay, so I kept I cut my crease off camera and I used the same PLV's base and now we're going to test well I wanted to do some shimmering but I just had to go for the matte yellow because that's the one my friend Daniela was saying it's the best yellow so I'm going right for karaoke this one flat brush just a unnamed Morphe flat brush I'm going to put this in the inner corner almost all the way through and then we'll add a little more red and blend it into the purple and pink. That's a pretty yellow. Very pigmented. I probably could have made it even more pigmented if I put yellow base. I should have, but this way you'll see how it really performs on a regular base. I just can imagine if I use Beauty Creations yellow base, oof, it's gonna be incredible. I'm going to use another flat brush and we're going to go into the red and oranges. So I'm going to go right for the red fashion. I'm going to press this ear and pick up a little bit of orange sushi and try to blend it with the yellow. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little more pink back to that uh, second brush. Just add a little more fuchsia, transitional shade, and purple. Okay, now we're going to cheat and use black from Avocado Palette. Well, it's not quite black. It's black, but it's not the blackest black, let's say. It's a uh, Holy Moly. I'm going to use a Moda brush. It's a Moda Pro BMX 420 detail and I just want to add a little bit to the outer corner just to make it a little bit brighter, deeper, I would say. So I put 
Paradise Purple in LA Girl in the waterline. And now we're going to add blue, that beautiful, beautiful, uh, it's called Electric. It does look like, like electric blue. And it's a shimmery color, but I wanted to use it and we're going for it. I'm using a small gesso brush. I like this small fluffy flat brushes. It's a detail shader 237. For low lash line, it's just perfect. Just the right color. It looks just like the pencil. Look at that blue. It is so pretty. It's that a satiny shimmer that's not extra metallic. So you can still use it in a low lash line and not look like I don't know, like it doesn't belong there. <laughs> and I'm using another one of these brushes because I have two of them, thanks to Anne Marie. And I'm using the wasabi. Just blend this in the inner corner. Oof, that color is beautiful. And this beautiful wasabi is not too metallic either. It's just a very mild shimmer, but it is pigmented. So I did a little bit of mascara and eyeliner, just some inexpensive brand from China. Um, you can be his eyeliner and mascara actually is not from China. Mascara, I give you another try to this uh, monstrosity, this one from Boxycharm, the damn girl mascara. Uh, just to see how I like it and I think it's just meh. I might actually throw it out. Okay, so. I'm gonna add some glitter in here because this look is totally flat. There is no sparkle in it. So I'm gonna use my Handayan glitter. It's like pink with a slight gold in it, gold reflex, it's perfect for me. So I'm using my tiny, tiny brush. I'm just gonna line the grease. So now we're trying, uh, we're going to test the eyelashes. I've got two pairs, a D306 and D304. So I took this out already, I've been still wearing one. Uh, they look pretty, pretty cute. They're not the most dramatic ones, but they're fluffy enough, I'm not mad at it. So I knew there was gonna be glue included when I shook it. <laughs> and here's the glue. So I'm going to give this glue another try. So what happened when I did this eye, it didn't stay. So it turned, I mean, just seemed like this was the worst glue I ever used in my life. And so I ended up using just uh, dual glue, this one. So I'm gonna give it another try so you can see on camera. And what I like about this lash is that the band is real thin. So if you see, it's like it's a real nice thin band. I cut just like a two little lashes on the outside and I already put them on top of the outer corner just to stack them so what i don't like about this there is no kind of applicator you just squeeze it thing and it's black i mean i don't mind it's black i have another black glue and it works fine but i think the quality is not all that so we're going to try so i'm just dragging the eyelash across the glue because that's the only way to apply. I mean, I could use a brush, but I don't want to waste a brush on this glue. <laughs> I'm being shady already. So we're gonna wait a few seconds and try to apply this again and see if this works. Maybe it was just me, my own fault, my own application, so we'll see. Okay, it's been about a minute. It says wait 30 to 60 seconds. I'm gonna bend it a little bit, make sure it's a real flexible. And we're gonna try this again. And yes, I always use my fingers to put the lashes on. I feel like fingers are easiest, for me at least. They go right on. And let's see if it's going to stay. The other eyelash, the inner corner would not stay on, so I had to use different glue. Okay, let's test the sponge. So I primed with a moisturizer, I primed with Pixie Skin Blur and Beauty Elixir by Bahari Hem because I have it from my friend Anne Marie. And it's very nice, it's smoothing and it's hydrating at the same time, really beautiful. So I'm going to use the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage Foundation in F10 because I know it looks beautiful on my skin and because I haven't been using it, so I just want to use something budget friendly. And I'm going to use this sponge. So it's a Studio Pro Beauty Sponge. 
uh, blend foundation other complexion makeup effortlessly using our ph studio pro beauty sponge so i'll show you what it looks like it's fairly small and firm i love the color it's purple it's only two dollars and ten cents i'm dipping this in water all right so this is after dipping it grew quite a bit it's a lot softer i need to uh use a little bit of paper towels on it so it's not dripping but other than that this is it so we're gonna try to test this i got a little foundation on my hand let's see it feels quite firm to be honest if you like very soft sponges that's probably not gonna be a favorite i i do actually like firm sponges two soft sponges i feel like you have to keep applying foundation over and over because it eats up all the foundation it's not even about wasting foundation what it's wasteful to you but also be about work it's like it takes too much work because you have to keep applying this one seems to be all right it's quite soft but not overly soft you can hear probably pam 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 i'm beating it I like that it's slightly firm, yeah, it's not bad. It does absorb quite a bit, but you know, it's natural. It blends well, so I quite like it. So now we're testing this beautiful Belgian waffle palette. Uh, so yeah, I did my base already, clearly. Here it is. And these are more of my color stories. I'm gonna go for cinnamon first. This is just right, really pretty. So I can use cinnamon and next one, batter. Use a little batter to blend it out. That's really pretty bronzers. A little batter on my forehead because, you know, nobody likes forehead that's too dark. It's gonna look weird. And cinnamon on my chin. So now we're going into the beautiful Bellini palette. This is just gorgeous. I just want to go right into life with a peach that is so pretty. I'm feeling the peach. I'm using just a Morphe brush. I like this angled brushes for blush. Oh my God, it's pigmented. Holy cow. I have to fix this. This blush is pigmented. It's not plain. Well, we can tone it down with powder, but this is like no joke. So I'm going to go for Georgia peach a little more on top. Maybe make it a little less crazy. So I'm going to spray myself. I'm going to use Colourpop Pretty Fresh Spray so we can really get the most out of the highlighter. Okay, we're going for the Belgian waffle. And I'm gonna go for the middle one, the syrup, because I'm a little afraid of maple. Maple a bit might be a little too dark. Oh my God. This is one of the most blinding highlighters. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Wow. I did not know what to expect. But BH Cosmetics killed it. I know it miss a lot of that palette, but this is incredible. Wow. 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 Let me try the powdered sugar on top. Oh. Wow. This is just insane. This is gonna be the most lit nose I've ever had in my life, probably. <laughs> lit. I don't know if it's in a good way or in a bad way. Okay, let me dip into the dark color now, maple, and kind of try to blend it with a blush. Actually, it's not that dark. I could use it as a highlighter, easy. For my skin tone, it works. Especially with the soft tanner. Wow. Now I'm really lit. Kind of a little crazy, but a little cool. So for some people it would be crazy, but for me, people like me, the crazy people, extra people, that is it. So here, the close-up, my eyes. I finished my eyes and my face. As you can see, given enough time, the eyelash is coming off. Yeah, the glue is not the best. I should have used my door glue. When I go off camera, I'll fix that. But other than that, 
uh the eyelashes are pretty the eyeshadow is incredible just like any other bh cosmetics palette i've tried and the sponge works real well actually i like it i like it a lot and uh, oh do you see that do you see that highlighter this is crazy that's crazy town and the blush is just beautiful the bronzer oh my god these two palettes are freaking amazing i am so impressed with everything bh cosmetics uh put out like everything so far so that's a finished look if you're wondering what's on my lips uh, it's maybelline loyalist liquid lipstick i decided to go with a neutral because you know there is a lot going on here <laughs> and the earrings are too much the hot pink over here i'm really really impressed the yellow is incredible then yellow if you're watching this you were so right this yellow beach cosmetics um trendy in tokyo is amazing the belgian waffle palette unbelievable unbelievable the highlighters are like wow it's like one of the most incredible highlighters the bronzers are just right this is actually a highlighter shade i thought it was a light bronzer i'm an idiot but it's actually a highlighter shade so i kind of like put it on my cheeks a little bit under to cut it slightly and it works well so the whole palette is usable literally if on my skin tone perfect bellini blushes beautiful so pigmented you gotta be easy go easy on them this one looked like, just like right for me but that was bright and it was pigmented and it took work to tone it down uh, yeah highly recommend also glowing in greece is the one i'm here to review and this is pretty beautiful it looks like it's a little darker but i have a feeling it's gonna work for me like a lot of shades will so i'm gonna test this in uh, my next video probably with the avocado toast and Trendy in Tokyo is amazing, guys. If you think it's just another rainbow palette, but it is so pretty. The quality is there. Every color is pigmented. It's incredible. There is blend out shades for pink for every color. Everything makes sense. There is a green. There is a lighter green, lighter yellow, purple. There is blue. blue. I mean, there is no lighter purple, but you know, you can work with other colors. So it's a very, very good standalone palette. You can do a look with it. If you use highlighter shade from another palette, very good. And the one I'm yet to test is of course the avocado toast. And I cannot wait to use the rest because I did use this and I did use this, this two shade. So I'm yet to do the green look with it. And I'm like eyeing all those greens here. They're so incredible. Um, the eyelashes are nice. Like I said, they come off, but it's not the eyelash fault. <laughs> it's a glue. The glue that comes with it is trash, to be honest. To me, it's just, it just doesn't work. Just use dual glue or any other good glue and you're good to go. They're pretty, nothing like crazy, but they're nice. You know, they're not extra. That's what I'm trying to say. So, and the sponge is very, very good, actually. It stayed soft. It's not the softest. If you like it, like, extra squishy, that's not it. But it's soft enough, and it's still firm enough. So, I think, for me, it's just right. It's not hard, but it's not too soft. I like this kind of sponges. So, everything I tried is incredible. So, you guys need to check them out. If you haven't gotten any BH Cosmetics yet, <laughs> go get them because they're constantly having sales. Like, constantly. Like, this one was like 13 bucks. It's crazy. And the palettes are like 10 $8 each for the blush and the highlight palettes. It's absolutely worth it. You get so much, so much for money. Incredible. So, this is the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet upload three times a week on mondays wednesdays and fridays and also go live every monday huge thank you to all my patrons you guys are amazing thank you for your support i have a patreon group my patrons choose my live makeup looks and we have telegram chat facebook group and i do occasionally only patrons lives and tips and stuff so if you guys are interested check out the link uh do follow me instagram twitter the links are down there so thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye